Hi there. I'm Connor, business analyst at OSF Digital, and today I want to show you two customer journeys on an online grocery store built with our grocery accelerator for Salesforce Commerce Cloud. Here I am on the homepage where we can see the main hero banner, menu, and all the other features. For the first journey, I would like to place an order and pick it up in store. If I want to choose a different store besides the default one, I can change it here from the store locator page. This is the store locator page from where I can choose another store. I will search for my store and I will choose the date and time for picking up the order. I'll continue my shopping journey by going back to the home page. Here I'm going to choose fresh category from the menu. And now I'm on the product listing page from where I'll select products to add to the cart. I can increase and decrease the quantity for each product directly from the product listing page or from the mini cart. If I want to find out more details about a certain product, such as ingredients and nutrition facts, I'll go to a product detail page. To make sure my order is complete, I can check the mini cart, which is easily accessible throughout the entire journey. If I have a promo code, I can apply it here and get a discount on my order. And if there are specific details that I want to mention, like for example, I would like to receive my products only in paper bags, I can add them here. I will now go to checkout, add my billing details such as billable address, phone and payment details. And we're done. Order placed. For the second journey, I would like to place an order and get it delivered straight to my door. I'm thinking about cooking some ravioli, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the frozen category from the menu and add a bag of ravioli to the cart. I also want to have a glass of wine with my pasta, so here I'm going to add a bottle of wine to the cart. Because this is an alcoholic beverage, an age validation modal will pop up on the screen. I also remembered that I'm out of some products I buy regularly, so I'm going to go ahead and visit my shopping list from where I can choose a specific product to add to the cart. Or if I want to add the entire shopping list to the cart, I can also do that. I can create and save multiple shopping lists in my account. This is a good way to save time and to get my regularly purchased products ordered in just a few clicks. So I think I have everything I need in my cart, so I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the checkout where I can select the option to allow certain products to be replaced with similar ones if the ones I added into my order are not available. I will add my billing and payment details and we are done. Order placed. In case I would like to cancel or change something in my order, I can do this by going to my account and then navigating to order history, where after selecting my last order, I will have two options, change or cancel. I just want to add some vegetables to this order, so I'll click on change order. Then I'll go ahead and select the products that I want, continue with the checkout process, and finally click on Save Changes. I can see directly on the order page that the new product was added. Also, at the bottom of the order page, there's a CTA button for reordering this exact order. Even if I don't want to reorder it now, I can save the cart and place the order later. This is yet another great way to save time and make the shopping for groceries easier than ever. Thank you for joining me on these two customer-centric grocery shopping journeys. You can offer the same experience to your customers with our Grocery Accelerator. 
If you are a grocery business and want to link your physical and online grocery stores, be sure to contact us. Our grocery commerce specialists will provide you with all the information you need to start your digital transformation journey.